So I had to come to town to buy hairspray of all things. I've not bought hairspray in probably over a year. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> Buying hairspray. So I thought I would just go into Big Lots to pick up my hairspray because our Big Lots, it's nice and it's always empty. Right beside of my Big Lots though is Goodwill. Right there it is. I'm gonna show you some of the amazing treasures that they have. And if I pick up anything, we'll do a haul. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go home and do that haul or if we'll do a car haul because I love me a good car haul. Full disclosure on the drive here i passed a yard sale and of course i had to stop look what i found isn't she pretty it's like a little clutch i don't think it's ever even been used i have no idea if it's real or not if you guys know how to tell let me know but this little beauty was only five dollars so even if it is a fake it's well worth it okay now let's go shopping there she is into goodwill we go surprise surprise i do not have my crocs on today because i wasn't planning on coming to goodwill i just had an amazing idea stick around till the end and we're going to discuss it okay i spy a little box over here i want to check out Oh, it's my bicycle and it's got the dice in here. It's also got the cards and the chips. Of course, I have to go over here and check out the purses too. I'm not seeing anything that I'm interested in today. You know what, let's just head back to the glassware because that's my favorite place to shop. I'm always looking for mugs. I got detoured by the Mad Hatter hat for only $1.99. And then look at these glasses. I don't drink wine, but if I did, these are like the crackled glass, but they have the old vintage look and they may be. I just don't feel like looking them up. A set of five, only $3.99. I can spot Fire King from a mile away. Check out this casserole dish. Unfortunately, it's $4.99 and I feel like I'll be able to find a better price one day at some point when I go to an estate sale or a yard sale. A set of four crate and barrel stackable wine glasses Deal in the original packaging for 99. Again, I don't drink wine. What's up with all the wine glasses? There's some cute mugs on the shelves but I'm not seeing anything I'm in love with. There's a cart out and someone is stocking and I see a ton of mugs. Hopefully they'll put those out in just a second. So this Pier One mug is adorable. Only 99 cents for this Mary Bright mug. I think these are supposed to have come in a set of four. $1.99 for this snowman mug in pristine condition. I'm loving the way it's like a 3D and raised on both sides. What is this? Bananas? 
You can make banana shaped popsicles. Okay. A car haul was not in the cards for us today. It's so hot and with the air conditioner running, mm -mm, you couldn't have heard a thing. But it's okay. We're gonna do the haul sitting right here on the porch and I'm gonna show you all the goodies that I picked up. Some are for me, some are for the family, and some are also gonna be for Chris's eBay store. Before I even start with the haul, I wanna mention something that I talked about at the very beginning of the video. As I was walking into Goodwill, I had an awesome thought. Do any of you want to go thrifting together? I've been wanting to hit up Goodwill bins in Asheville. So I'm thinking if anybody lives in that general vicinity around here anywhere within a short distance, I'm not talking about having a big meetup or anything. I'm talking about let's go dig through the bins. Let's go have some fun. I want to go so bad. Do any of you all want to meet up and go to Goodwill bins in Asheville, North Carolina? Let's discuss this. Go to the comments. Okay, now we can get down to business. I did not pick this up for me. I actually picked it up for my son's girlfriend. She's got this whole Alice in Wonderland event coming up in the next few weeks. So when I saw the Mad Hatter hat, this thing is massive. I don't think you guys fully understand just how big this is. It shows on the inside. Ugh, ugh. Hair. She's on the inside that you can adjust the size, but again, I think she's going to use this as a decor piece. You can stuff it. There's a zipper on the inside and it's going to sit up like this. I guess you take the stuffing out so that you can store it flat, but it was only a dollar 99. And that reminds me, I did not go through the clothes while I was at Goodwill this time. I just did not have time. And I did not go through the Halloween costumes. And they probably had the rest of this costume over there. My Goodwill has a tendency to break things up and sell them all separately. Anyways, great price. I collect mugs and Fire King and old plates and just different items, you know, things that you don't see on the shelves at Walmart. I love all things 80s, neon, retro, vintage. I have managed to pass that love down to my kids. So, me and Kerrigan both collect mugs. She collects more soup top mugs, something big and bulky that she can eat out of. Me, I just like anything different. I went through the mugs, pretty disappointing, but someone was out stocking. They were rolling that little cart around and I heard some clanking in the distance. I ran over to the glassware to see what they had put out. This is just half of the set that I got and I had to buy them all. They put them together, but I bought them all to get that one. Look at these beauties. Look at these gorgeous mugs. I swear, I think this thing weighs like 50 pounds. It is a heavy duty mug. Almost broke it. White Castle mug. You're not gonna believe this, but we don't have a White Castle here. 
don't know. Is it a northern thing? Down here in the south, it's a crystals on every corner. But I know when Chris travels and we go to see him that it's always White Castle and not crystals. And I always loved that movie, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Okay, so what it says is a National Institute White Castle System, Inc. established in 1921. And then right here at the bottom of the crest, it says, buy them by the sack. But the bottom, it looks sort of like an ashtray bottom. It's so weird. The shape, these things are old. The plant, I'm keeping one. I'm gonna give the others to Chris to put on eBay. So if any of you collect mugs or are interested in a White Castle, old i don't know how old it is i'm sure it'll be in the description when he puts it on ebay then go check it out you <laughs> you know where it'll be it'll be down there in the description box the link to the ebay account so go over there and look i have not looked up anything on this mug either i don't know anything about it i have no idea what pilot knob is and it also says reg us pat off whatever that stands for pilot mountain Oh, guess I should have read the mug while I was in the store. I just like the colors and I thought it was pretty. But it says, Pilot Mountain of NC, North Carolina, I assume. Pure coffee, roasted and packed by Bowers Brothers, Inc., Richmond, Virginia. Loved the vibrant colors. It looks like it is brand spanking new and maybe I know nothing about it. Didn't research it while I was in the store. Just liked it. Thought it was different. Picked it up. A dollar ninety-nine. I peeled the sticker off the bottom and it's got the original price on here of six dollars and ninety-five cents. And it also says right there, Thailand. So I guess that's where it was made. Okay, I'm a little slow, but it's a coffee, coffee mug. And I didn't even notice. These are from Cracker Barrel and they had them priced at $1.99. I don't know what the original price are on these sunflower bowls or when they ever came out because it just says Cracker Barrel, family blessings, microwave and dishwasher safe, made in China. These are gonna make cute fall decor pieces. I don't think I'm gonna use them as bowls and that's what they were intended for because they are food safe where it says microwave and dishwasher safe, $1.99 each. It had the original little sticker on here from Cracker Barrel. It didn't get completely taken off. So I'm gonna have to take that off, but these are textured look in there they're so pretty although I can't imagine eating out of them I mean see the inside that's raised I feel like all my food would get down in there these are gonna be decorative I mean I guess you could eat ice cream I don't know I don't know I didn't get the plate because I didn't feel like I needed the plate but now I wish I would have got the plate after putting out my fall pieces and displaying them I decided I'm only gonna keep one of these so the other one is listed on eBay. This piece was not with the dishware. It wasn't with the glasses. It wasn't even with the decorative pieces or the Halloween or Christmas stuff. This piece was on the shelves with the bakeware, the pots, the pans, the microwaves, all of that stuff. It was on a very top shelf and all I could see peeking over was this but it's a plate like a little saucer plate with a lemon and then these little leaves it was $2.99 see what I was saying about I like things that are different this is definitely different not something you're going to find at Walmart look at that it's so pretty on the back where the sticker is it says Cali C-A-L-I the sticker is not going to come off there good I'm working on it. Almost. There we go. There's what it looks like on the back. I'll probably go look more into this. I'm going to assume it's a line of plates. It looks to be hand painted because the sponge work that's around the edge of the front is also on the back. So it's like they sponged it like this. I don't think a machine can do that, can it? I don't know. It's adorable. And speaking 
of adorable. My Halloween aisle was cram packed. That shelf was overflowing and it seems like all of the people in Goodwill were down the Halloween aisle. Oh, they had so many things that I wanted, but I didn't. I narrowed it down to this little cutie because I'm gonna put this as decor in my kitchen in October on that little tiered shelf I have over here in the corner beside the refrigerator. Um, it is a signed piece and it was $1.99. Little ghosty ghost here. It says 2010 on the bottom and it also says blue sky. There's what he looks like. There's a hole in the bottom and there's two little holes right there. I'm wondering if he had a mate was this supposed to be a salt and pepper shaker? Oh, the signature. I think it says Heather Goldmine. I don't know if you guys can see. Is what it says? I think so. There's also like some sticky on the bottom that I'm gonna have to peel off. I don't know if this was part of another piece. Surely they wouldn't have glued it down. It looks like maybe it was on cardboard, but it's coming right off. I'm just gonna have to pull that glue off there and give him a good rinse, but he's just so cute. Look, a little cobweb, a little spider. That's just a face you can't say no to. That was everything that I picked up for me, pretty much. And then Chris wanted two things for his eBay store, so I'll go ahead and show those. They were both labeled toys. One of them is a Fiero. Do you all remember the Fieros? This one's black and it's just plastic. It was $1.99 and on the bottom it says right there Tootsie Toy Pontiac Fiero made in the USA. And the last thing is and I'm not even going to pretend like I know anything about it. I'm just going to show it. It's this. It's a football helmet. That's all I know. Oh, I also know the price. It was $2.99. Pittsburgh Steelers. On the back, it says Rawlings, H-N-F-L slash N, medium, USA. Also on the back is another stamp. I have no idea what this means. I'm sure he does. It is missing the chin strap. I knew that much about it, but I'm thinking this is pretty old and that's why he wanted it. And by old, I mean it's probably the 80s because there's an 8-0 on the back, so I'm just assuming here. That's it. That was my $25 Goodwill haul. I got some cute little things that I'm excited about and I think are different. Let me know what your thoughts are on a trip to Asheville. Are any of you all close? Now, I'm not talking about, hey, drive at 15 hours. Come hang out with me at Goodwill Benz. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, do any of you live in that general vicinity? Do any of you live in the Tri-Cities like I do, Tennessee, the very tip? If you do, we can go to Goodwill Bins in Asheville, North Carolina and hang out and do some thrifting. Let me know your thoughts. Let's do this. Let's put something together. I think it would be fun. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out and chatting with me, going shopping. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Happy shopping. Go find that bargain.